Here we'll learn about the fundamental biochemistry of the cytochrome P450 catalytic cycle. To begin, start a table. Cytochrome P450 plays an important role in both the metabolism of exogenous and also endogenous substances. P450 is fundamental for the conversion of foreign substances, xenobiotics, into polar entities that can be readily excreted. To note that P450 intermediary metabolites can be beneficial. The P450 system can be exploited for the conversion of inert prodrugs to their active metabolites. For instance, the metabolism of codeine to morphine, which has 200 times the analgesic effect of codeine. Unfortunately, however, P450 metabolites can be toxic, such as strengthening the carcinogenic effect of foreign compounds, such as cigarette smoke, benzoapyrene. In regards to endogenous P450 metabolism, P450 metabolism includes the biosynthesis of key endogenous compounds, such as the metabolism of steroid hormones, cholesterols, bile acids, amines, such as tyramine, and lipid-soluble vitamins, and the generation of potentially toxic mediators from endogenous precursors. For instance, P450 is involved in the oxidation of arachidonic acids, long-chain fatty acid, to eicosanoids. To begin, let's address the basic stoichiometry of P450-mediated hydroxylation, the most common form of drug biotransformation. Indicate that the reactants are NADPH, which serves as a reducing agent. It's involved in electron transfer via P450 reductase. Hydrogen, which serves a key role in oxygen activation. Molecular oxygen, the reaction involves the insertion of an oxygen atom into a bond and the substrate with a hydrogen bond, RH, and show that the products are NADP+, which is the result of NADPH oxidation, H2O, which results from the introduction of protons, and ROH, which is the result of hydroxylation of the substrate. Let's also generate a shorthand version of the major steps of the catalytic cycle. First, the key reactants, the drug, which draws a pill with a hydrogen bond, two protons, and molecular oxygen. Next, the products. We show the drug with anhydroxyl and water. Show that NADPH oxidized to NADP plus via P450 reductase, which transfers the electron from this oxidation to the P450 enzyme. We show that electron transfer occurs two times during the catalytic cycle. Note that one of these electron transfers can occur via cytochrome B5 rather than NADPH reductase. Finally, show that the major catalytic enzyme is P450, which contains a central ferric iron, F3+. It's in its 3-plus oxidation state. So now let's take a look at where the reaction actually occurs in the cell. It's anchored to the ER membrane. First, draw a portion of a cell the nucleus with a nucleolus and chromatin, and include endoplasmic reticulum. Show that rough ER is lined with ribosomes. Rough ER is essential for protein synthesis. Then show smooth ER is void of ribosomes. That's a smooth surface and is the location of P450. It's anchored to the ER membrane. Show a magnified view of the smooth ER membrane. Indicate the ER lumen in the cell cytoplasm. Then show that P450 is anchored to the smooth ER membrane facing into the cell cytoplasm. I'll also show its neighboring P450 reductase, which provides electrons to P450, and cytochrome B5, which can provide the second electron in the catalytic cycle. Finally, before we address the catalytic cycle, let's learn the three-dimensional structure of the P450 heme protein, which is a porphyrin structure. Write that porphyrin comprises four parallel rings bridged by methine groups to form a planar structure. Show that the heme protein active site of cytochrome P450 comprises a central iron atom with six binding sites. We show the iron in its ferric state. Four of these go to the nitrogen of porphyrin. We remind ourselves that pyrrol is a five-membered ring that consists of one nitrogen, four carbons, and five hydrogens. Show that the fifth bond goes to cysteine, and then show that the final bond is available to bind up oxygen. As discussed, oxygen plays a key role in P450 oxidation reactions. 
With that as a background, let's tackle the fundamentals of the cytochrome P450 catalytic cycle. To begin, draw our drug, the substrate, and show a carbon-hydrogen bond. Indicate that the drug is lipophilic in its present state, which allows it to pass freely across cell membranes. Then show that ultimately this cycle will catalyze a hydroxylation reaction, most commonly in the liver, wherein the carbon-hydrogen bond on the drug will be oxidized to a carbon-hydroxyl bond, which is a polar moiety that can be renally excreted. We draw a kidney. Although we focus on hydroxylation here, P450 catalyzes numerous oxidation reactions and also various reduction reactions. Three reactions predominate. Let's list them now. The hydroxylation, which is our focus here, heteroatom oxidation, and epoxidation. Show that the catalytic cycle will involve two key parts. Part one is the activation of molecular oxygen. This part will take up the bulk of the steps in the cycle. It's basically just preparing oxygen for part two. Part two is the oxidation of the substrate. This is the key portion of the reaction, and it's the simpler of the two parts. To begin, represent the enzyme as P450 bound to ferric iron. Again, iron is in its 3 plus oxidation state. Show that the drug binds to the active site of P450. Next, show that via a P450 reductase reaction, NADPH is oxidized to NADP plus, and an electron is transferred to the P450 enzyme, which reduces the iron to its ferrous state, 2 plus oxidation. As a reminder, Oxidation is the loss of electrons, and reduction is a gain of electrons. Now show that molecular oxygen binds to the iron. Indicate that in the process, an electron is transferred from the iron to the oxygen. Thus, iron is oxidized back to its 3 plus state, and oxygen becomes negatively charged. Next show that another electron is transferred to the enzyme. This can occur either via another P450 reductase reaction, or via a lesser discussed enzyme, cytochrome B5. Either way, an electron is transferred to P450. Indicate that subsequently, two proton ions bind to the enzyme complex and perform a heterolytic dioxygen bond cleavage, which allows the protons to bind with one of the oxygen atoms, and in the process, water is formed and released. This step forms the most reactive intermediate in the cycle, a feral intermediate, which has a double bond to oxygen. We indicate that it's in its 5 plus oxidation state, two steps above the ferric iron state. From here, many different reactions can occur, but the most common reaction, and the key one for our purposes, is that through two separate steps, the oxygen is transferred to the carbon hydrogen bond on the substrate. It's hydroxylated, and two electrons return to the ferrol iron so that it returns to its original ferric iron oxidation state, 3 plus. Show that the drug then leaves the enzyme active site. Now it's hydroxylated, it's in its polar state, ready to be renally excreted, and the P450 enzyme is ready for the next reaction. This concludes our diagram.